What's up, guys? This is Frost Shrapnel coming to you with uh, WTG SoGo. How's it going? We're over here riding the zombie train and uh, trying to figure out and decipher this new trailer that dropped. The world premiere was on 926. They made us. That was a. They made us wait all fucking night and all morning. <laughs> uh, did you have? Did you end up reading any posts or anything like that on the uh, website? It was pretty fucking epic. They were like, "Fucking drop the video already! I have to go to school." shit like that they were like raging they were raging yeah, it was pretty awesome all right so the, the trailer dropped and there's tons and tons of information in there um and just things flash by with the blink of an eye and it's a fucking amazing trailer it is incredible how much shit they jam-packed in like three or four minutes yeah it was like i think it was like two minutes one second and all right two minutes in one second <laughs> I'm not gonna be specific. Look, it was typically, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, they uh, they jammed a lot of things in there and a lot of flashes and things like that. So we went back and broke down the trailer and kind of uh, and kind of just got the gist of what what was going on. Um, looks like there is quite a few areas in there. Um, the ones we noticed were there is a bus station, which is where the bus pulls up to to begin with, and that was yes. on the, the little teaser too. Um, there, on the other side of that, it had, there was like a sign that said uh, Sid Key or something. I don't know. That was weird. Sid Key, yeah. We, we researched it a little bit, but didn't come up with much. <laughs> you know what? I came up with a, an application called Uber Fat. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that scared me enough not to open it. So uh, so there was another area that, of the bar. You could tell it was a bar by the pool table. Um there was kind of a counter in there and everything, so bonus nap. that was kind of cool. Um, there looks to be a bank in there. Yeah. And it looks like they're more outside. I don't know if they ever go inside the bank. Yeah, that's the main part where the zombies are converging. Yeah, and then it pans out. So yeah. there's also a shop or a garage area, which was kind of interesting because it looked like maybe there was a workbench in there. Because uh, I know you're able to build... There are buildables. Yeah, there are buildables in here, just like in um, Dead Rising has that. So yeah, I mean at the end they show them with their 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 car doors and the dollies, and in the garage they have car doors and parts all you know pieced around. So yeah, that looks really cool. So I'm excited for that. Um, there's also a barn area, which it looked like zombies were kind of falling from the ceiling in there. So. And uh, Diner. Yeah. It just said Diner on the top on the sign. Die. Die. Spoiler alert, it's going to say die at some point. I mean, guarantee the end's going to burn out. Maybe it's an Easter egg. And then there was like a warehouse. And that one was the weirdest for me because it looked like there was a, a bunch of uh, power transformers in the middle. And it looked yeah. like a teleporter on the side, you were saying. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about that. Uh, I was thinking transporter at first, but... The more I thought about it, I was like, what is the point of a transporter in here? I mean, other than for future use, because you have the bus that's transporting you around the map. So a transporter itself just seems useless to me. So I'm wondering if it has something else to do with it, like, you know, electric zombies. I don't know, because they had a lot of transistors and a lot of crazy stuff in that warehouse. Yeah, there was like blueprints on the wall, things like that. So I don't know. There's an awful lot of scaffolding and stuff in there that was just kind of interesting to see. And it was, it, I almost thought it was the barn to begin with, and then it just, you could just yeah. tell there was a lot more metal inside of there, or yeah. walkways. So that was kind of interesting. Um, the ongoing theme with the, with the whole map and everything seems to be lava flow, so it's got to be staged around some kind of a volcanic eruption. Um, it looks like the lava flow burns through uh, part of the river there, like follows it along, and it also looks like it, Maybe it cuts off your path in another area on the overview map. Yeah, it keeps you in areas. Yeah, so, which the overview map, we kind of pieced together. If you want to see that, that's on wethegamers.com um, under the Black Ops Black Ops 2 section there. That's And we're kind of just wondering, you know, where in history is this, or is, is this just fiction? I'm just going to guess fiction. Because um, as far as I can tell, it seems to be in America. Um, we're driving on the left, well, the steering wheel on the left side. The only thing that kind of sticks out is the Chinese or Japanese writing on the guns that we can see. My whole take on that is, 
uh, carrying on from what we heard from the developers is if you know the the Easter egg story uh, from Boon, then you're this storyline's going to make sense to you because it carries on from that. So my whole thought process of this so far is uh, Maxis, whatever, he blows up Earth and we're left on the moon and somehow or not we have traveled back in time. Traveled in time at some point. Maybe traveled, I don't know, because it doesn't make sense now. There could be an alternate universe because there has to be a future for 25 years in the future because there are futuristic weapons in this zombie trailer. You can see them. They're not weapons of uh, you know this timeline. There are older weapons, and the, the the main gentleman that they're showing here, he looks to be of you know 1980s black ops scientist or worker. We're just know, gonna that. nickname that guy Walter. So. <laughs> I like Walter. So <laughs> they might be going back in time, you know, to fix or undo uh, what had happened, you know, uh, with Richtofen going crazy or something. So yeah, that is that's definitely one of the uh, ideas or theories behind what's going on there. But there seems to be a lot of lava flow in here, um, and that brings us to the wonder weapon that we think we see in the trailer at the very end. That it kind of teases us towards. I'm thinking this is a lava gun. Um, I would say it's almost confirmed for me for the fact that the temperature gauge on it seems to have a mark at 1,000 degrees, and then maybe one, it's like in the red in 2,000 degrees. Lava can actually be anywhere from about 700 to 1,300 degrees Celsius, which is what that meter is. So we're thinking that is a lava gun. The RPMs on the side are probably it charging or spinning up and then getting to eject the lava onto the zombie. Just I didn't though. see a uh, a uh, full and empty meter on there, so I'm wondering if it's kind of like a flamethrower. Right. Or if it spins too much or too long or too fast, it's too hot, and then mm -hmm. it has to recharge. That, and also maybe you have to be within a certain vicinity of the lava to do it. Or that, yeah. So, like, maybe you have to put a little hose in the lava or something. I don't know. You know, <laughs> it could work something like that. Right, so, your lava boat. <laughs> lava boat. So that's... Uh, that's one of the weapons that we're, we're seeing that it seems to be confirmed, at least partially at this point. It seems to be a lava gun. Um, I did also see the light from the mystery box in two places in the trailer. Yes, sir. So, uh, I mean, we knew that was coming anyways, but it's just kind of nice to see it confirmed there. And also Speed Cola was the only perk that you could really see in the uh, trailer. Uh, we also saw some sort of hint of one of the first playable areas for uh, probably one of the survival type games because the way the developers have explained it is transit, you know, obviously is going to use the whole area where you can transverse across from area to area and survival is kind of going to be like multiplayer where they specialize, they kind of, it's the same area but they specialize it and change it and block stuff for use of playing zombies. So it looks like at the beginning of the trailer when they drop off the bus you can see some boarded up windows over there on the side which would allude to an area where zombies are going to come through and, and get you. Right, and yeah, transit seems to be kind of like the campaign mode. You can move between areas with a bus or through the fog which is pretty handy, and I guess you can be separate from the other people. So, Which is going to be interesting because it's going to change your play type. I guess it's not going to be that not much for different. Us. <laughs> not for us. I mean, we can run by ourselves. For the people that need to run in groups, you know, this, this map is so freaking huge. You could easily get separated, and if you're that far apart, if someone gets down, it's going to be literally impossible to try to hop a bus and... <laughs> Hold on, I'll, hold on, I'll res you. I gotta. Oh, I'm running the right now. Correct change. Oh shit! <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. But if so, anyone could do it, I know you could. So. But. <laughs> so basically, and then there's also the survival mode is gonna be a lot more custom. So you're gonna be able to eliminate, take out like wonder weapons, or start at a certain round. It's my most exciting aspect of all this. Right. Who wants to really? log through the first like five rounds it just sucks and then it's you just, just you just end up letting all the zombies in because you're just like well i'll have a little bit of excitement you know? <laughs> yeah it's just a time waster if we could yeah it doesn't make any sense well it does make sense but for you know inexperienced people to kind of get the shake the rust off and get started again it's gonna be interesting because if you jump right in at around five and you don't have any points from that before that's gonna be a huge disadvantage so maybe that's how it's gonna kind of limit itself 
No, mm-hmm. but you can assign points to it. You can limit the points or assign more points to go. It kind of, the, the points you can get will uh, associate with the round that you're at. Okay. I was going to say, because then also, if this is happening, it's probably not going to allow you to be on the leaderboard with this attempt. Then. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're not leaderboard attempts. It, it would be like doing like a first player maps, you know, just don't work. Right. Or single player. Sorry. Then we have one more mode, which is called uh, Grief Mode, which is actually been invented quite a while ago, but it's now an actual legitimate mode, and the game will kind of acknowledge that now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so, they called it during development uh, 4Z4, right? Yep, and also we've been playing Sabotage Zombies for a long time. I mean, you guys more than me, but it's pretty much just you're, you're trying to get the other people killed. I, I'm always sabotaging you. <laughs> Hey, that's not a purpose thing. Just, just open that door. Right. Um, that's going to be pretty awesome because you're going to be able to shut off the perk machines. Um, you're going to be able to turn off pack a punch to really screw with people. And I just can't wait. Yeah, and I've heard rumors that you're going to be able to have uneven teams. And that's what I want. I want to go in as one versus four or two versus four and just destroy a whole team. It I think we're in the minority with that. But that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> It will be hilarious to troll them like that. So that's, that's pretty exciting right there as well. So that finally actually got a mode and it's up to eight players. You can't shoot the other people, but you can have the zombies kill them. They didn't mention it, but they alluded to it and they kind of for, forbid us, forbidded us to, to talk about it at Treyarch. Forbade. Forbade. <laughs> What's the yes. word for that? Forbode. Uh, it, forbode. Uh, to talk about COD Elite while we were at Treyarch uh, uh, and how it was associated with this, but the way they have all this set up is it's all multiplayer engine and it's set up for leaderboards, theater mode, all sorts of crazy stuff with zombies. For you, for you zombie elitists, for you people that say you can get to round 100, no problem. This is really going to exploit your game and show whether, you know, you really are the zombie player you say you are or you're not because headshots will be counted. Everything is going to be compared and not in the national, you know, national sense of, you know, world leaderboards, but everything, you know, in competitions and uh, stats and I can't everything. Wait. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. And they can just take my wallet and open it and I will give it to them. Yeah, so. no problem. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for this, just contests and things like that for zombies. It's just been needed because that's been a huge segment for them. So, and it's becoming more and more every single time they release a game. I cannot wait, and I do hope they incorporate it into Elite. I would definitely buy it. Especially if we have a chance to get Zombie Master early. Screw all that other crap, right? <laughs> right. Hell yes. All right. Uh, one cool thing about uh, We the Gamers and our site is, you know, a uh, pretty tight community, uh, but uh, we've been lucky enough to be included in the Call of Duty VIP, um, I guess, gang. Going down to Treyarch since uh, Call of Duty World at War, they've been flying us down and uh, whining and dining us. Kind of, you know, being the game developer they are and including their community uh, before pretty much everyone else into showing off their work and really giving us a, a taste of, of every aspect and ounce of blood, sweat, and tears that they've poured into making these games. You know, and that's really the fun part. You know, we get to see you know some of the stuff a little bit early which is cool but you know you end up getting the information you know much faster from all the other major gaming websites but you know then of course we get to sit down and talk to the game developers and find out their thought process and why they you know are doing the things that they're doing and you know little things like that which just makes connecting to them so much funner the anyways random- yeah, random stuff that people that don't even really care about the game or zombies, they relay out the information, you know, boring is their job. And, you know, we really love what we do. And if you're really interested in this type of stuff, visit our website a lot because uh, I'm sure this won't be the last time we're going there. And I'm sure we'll be covering many aspects of this game. One of the things uh, I would really like them to do, which they did with Black Ops, and the one I want them to do with Black Ops 2 would be to grab the old maps 
and bring them forward. And I don't know if they're going to do that because they can only, I mean, I guess they could do that indefinitely, but it gets more and more cumbersome every time they're doing it. I would expect them to kind of make a clean break this time and go to brand new stuff and just offer those other ones, those other maps back on Black Ops only and the historical maps back to World at War. But I'm not sure if they're going to do that or not. Yeah, it's going to be, I, I, I don't know how they would do that because it's running on a different engine now. Right. Right. So it's gonna be I don't know harder. if that's, yeah, I don't know if that's possible, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice not having to switch out this to choose what map you're going to play from, you know, old nostalgia ones to the new ones. But, you know, if we, we've been playing the old ones so much, I'm I'm ready for a clean, clean break and, and starting something new with it. So what we've been doing on uh, Thursday night has been a journey to the top of our friends leaderboards. And that's kind of a mouthful, but basically we're just trying to dominate everybody else on our friends list for zombies. We've been climbing and climbing and clamoring to the freaking top of our leaderboards and we've been shutting out everybody now we get defeated sometimes and we come back and we, we always so. and you know we have some <laughs> grade a <laughs> we have some good zombie players on our friends list uh, mine's packed of you know 100 people on my friends list and most of them are zombie players from you know traveling to treyarch and whatnot so it's not like we're playing against chumps right i mean some of the maps that we're on on our high scores are ranked about 6,000th in the world underneath the 5,000 people that all glitched and got to the top. <laughs> uh, no. But you know there is a lot of glitchers on the top end of that as well. We can make higher and higher attempts and everything, but we've we've ranked consistently over the top of everybody on our friends list. We will go back and dominate until it happens. And we've had some epic victories and some epic failures in the meantime. And we've got about, I think we have about two maps left, really, that we have to uh, achieve it on. Dude, how, we've been doing this for almost almost a year. Yeah. It has it been? Yeah, almost a year, every Thursday night. So we have, I can't even add up the hours of zombies we've put in. It's so a lot of hours. Every Thursday night at 9.30 uh, Pacific, we play on our live stream, which is... Dead stream. Yeah, we call it the dead stream. If you want to watch us on there, it's on Twitch TV. It's twitch.tv slash console link. It should actually probably be a link on uh, the We The Gamer site as well here shortly. Yep. We're going to be on there every Thursday night. Feel free to come in there and chat with us or whatever. Sometimes we play random games, but usually it's just me and Sogo attempting to go really high or just four players and doing some crazy Easter egg or something. So pretty legit. <laughs> Something we like to do is pick up randoms, and because uh, they're usually, you know, not that great, but uh, drag them as far as we can, which is 72, 80 recoveries, whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah, I think I had, I think I had in the 80s for, for recovery on on a random person. So it's, it's actually pretty, pretty awesome. funny because they pay you for bringing them up too. Yeah, it's it's worth money. I'm just <laughs> over the mic. I'm just gonna start saying like, "Pay me, bitch." <laughs> every, time <Cha -ching. laughs> every time I pick somebody up, I'm just going to say, pay me. Before I revive you, make the cha -ching sound. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So um, that and we're, we're going to be doing more videos and things like that. We've kind of laid dormant for a while. No more. No so more. As the new zombies no come moss. out. We're gonna we're gonna ramp it up. If you want a taste of what's to come, I have a montage video you can watch. Some tutorials. So those are on YouTube right now. Check out uh, vintage videos on WeTheGamers.com. Uh, if you have questions, uh, maybe stuff that you'd like to ask the developers, uh, stuff like that. Uh, sometimes we're you know able to build those relationships, and uh, we'll try to answer those to the best of our abilities. And yeah. Yeah, because I remember uh, quite a few glitches that you guys found. And that's kind of how you got your foot in the door and your relationship with Treyarch. And that's pretty yeah, first game we found a lot of glitches, and that's yeah, that's how we got it. And you know, a lot of the the back storyline. I know a lot of people say they invented it and all that crazy crap, but a lot of the back storyline uh, to zombies has been created by the community, and a lot of that has been here at We the Gamers, just because some crazy fanatics. Uh, it's it's nuts. It's, it's it's been fun. So there's the old uh, glitch videos on We the Gamers. Also, uh, my YouTube is YouTube slash console link, and that's all one word. And that's basically uh, I have my montage on there and a couple other videos. For killing George Romero, mostly. We'll start putting up a, sh a crap ton I, I of zombie that. videos here. I hate that. <laughs> I am not a fan no. of it. Anyways, it's been great uh, sharing some information with you guys. This is WTG Sogo and Ross's Shrapnel. See you guys later.